In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate today St. Philip Neri, a pastor of the church who communicated the joy of the gospel to everyone. Through his example, may we learn also to take care of one another. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness, on the faithful servants you raise up for yourself. Graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrive in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charge. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody, for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, 
and forget not all his benefits. The Lord established his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you mighty in his strength, who do his bidding. The Lord established his throne in heaven. Please stand. Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we are concluding the Easter season in a few days through the celebration of Pentecost Sunday, this coming Sunday, we are also concluding in our Gospel reading the Gospel of St. John. And in our first reading, we are also hearing the conclusion of the colorful missionary journey of St. Paul in the Acts of the Apostles. But it is surprising 
that towards the conclusion of our readings from the scriptures, we see the life of St. Paul and the life of St. Peter in pain. Parang sa pagtatapos ng kanilang buhay ay masakit ang kanilang pinagdaanan. First, we see in the Acts of the Apostles that towards the end of his journey, St. Paul became a prisoner. He was accused and therefore he was placed in house arrest. In our gospel reading today, Jesus predicted the death of St. Peter through which he would glorify God. But in the dialogue of Peter and Jesus, Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me? Three times did Jesus ask Peter about his love. I think, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us today that we should look at pain as an opportunity to love. Although the life of Peter and Paul ended painfully, Jesus wanted them to focus that even in pain, there can still be love. Bagaman ang kanilang buhay ay mayroong sakit, nasaktan ang kanilang buhay, pero nais ipaalala ni Jesus sa kanila at nais ituro ni Jesus sa mga alagad ang oras ng sakit ay maaari mong gawing oras din ng pagmamahal at pag-ibig. Many times, my dear brothers and sisters, when there is hurt and pain, we turn them into times also of revenge, of inflicting hurt to one another. Kapag dumaan tayo na oras na nasaktan tayo, madalas ginagawa rin natin itong oras na makapanakit ng kapwa. When we undergo times of pain, it also becomes a time when we hurt one another and look at the source of our pain. Madalas kapag nasasaktan tayo, iniisip natin, ano nga ba ang dahilan ng sakit na ito? Yan ang sisisihin ko. Yan din ang gagantihan ko. But Jesus reminds us and teach us that a time of pain should become a time also to love. Just recently, I met again a family that I have met years ago. They were a family of refugees from another country. And they were persecuted as Christians in their home country. And so when I met them here, they were asking me for help. Where can they stay here in the country? Because they cannot go back to their country as they were being persecuted in their own homeland. But you know, when I met them, I expected to meet a very angry family, a family who is in pain. And when you are in pain, most of the time, you are also in anger. But I met a family who was full of love. They even cooked for me when I met them. My dear brothers and sisters, when you are in times of pain, 
it doesn't mean that you should also be in times of anger. Times of pain can be turned into times of love. Bagaman may mga oras na masasaktan tayo, wag natin itong gawin na oras din na galit tayo. Kapag may oras na nasasaktan, ito ay gawin nating oras ng pagmamahal. Ang pagkakataon na ito ay pagkakataon na maipakita natin na tayo ay lalong magmahal. If we are filled with pain, then we should ask the Holy Spirit for the fire, not of anger, but the fire of love. Sana po mga kapatid, kagaya ng mga alagad sa ating pagbasa ngayong araw, kung dumaraan man tayo sa sakit, kung nasasaktan man tayo, hindi ito pagkakataon na gumanti, hindi ito pagkakataon na lalong magali tayo. Times of pain can also be opportunities of love. As we continue our celebration of the Eucharist, we remember Jesus on the cross. He was in pain, but He turned pain into an opportunity of love. Amen. Please stand. Mindful that we are sent on the same mission as Peter, we ask God the Father to strengthen our faith. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and those who exercise authority in the Church may be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that sinners may find hope and encouragement in the Lord's forgiveness of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer that the sick and those who are in distress may experience the Lord's presence amidst their sufferings and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that our beloved dead may receive light, happiness, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to save the world through the work of your church. May we be inspired by the example of Peter to labor for the spread of your kingdom on earth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name, and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Philip Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.